Shallow Worm. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. And salutation and much love to Yakim out there pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. This is the brother Ash. Coming back with another quick lesson, Lord's Lord's edifying to the hopeful elect. And uh, real quick, let me just start here in, in uh, Luke chapter 2, verse 49. And he said unto them, How is it that ye, that ye sought me? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? All right, so Yahweh Shai, even he told his own uh, mother and uh, father, you know, Joseph and Mary, that he was about his father's business. All right, well, he wasn't talking about the carpentry. You know, he was talking about the will of the Heavenly Father. All right. And, um, you know, we'll, let's get that word there, business, see what it says. Because we've been called to uh, come in, in, into this business as well. Uh, let's see. Father's business. Um, no, so I'm just going into the father. Um, doesn't say the business, though. But anyway, let's keep going. So he came about his father's business, okay? And now we've entered into those labors, that 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 business, so to say. I go to because he uh, Yahweh would be like the you know the the foreman, so to say, the the uh, the master. Like right, he's the boss. He got men under him to do the work that he, uh, as well. This is the, uh, Matthew 9 and 37. It says, Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest is truly plenteous, but the laborers, laborers are few. And this is what the business is, all right? The Lord always used these parables, all right, to compare to this ministry to laborers, you know, people, men laboring out there. <clears throat> Verse 38, Pray ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. All right, because this isn't a one-man job. All right, this is, a, this is a team effort. Of course, you're working out your own salvation with fear and trembling, but each man has to do his job for the for the, the mission to be accomplished. All right, for the business to operate at its 100% efficiency, everyone has to do their part, whether it be the big part or a small part. All right, that's what the laborers are to do. Become a, it becomes a team effort. That's why even Yahushai had men around him when he was doing it in the three years of his ministry. Okay. So let's get some words here. Uh, actually, I'll get in the blue letter. Um, let's go to the book of Philippians chapter 4. And I want to get up verse 3. It says, And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, Help those women which labored with me in the gospel with Clement also and with other my fellow laborers whose name are in the book of life. So let's first get um, fellow laborers. Goes into Sin Negroes. Sin Negro. <laughs> Sin Negro. <laughs> see. Strong's G 4904. Sunergas. 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 Sunni gas. All right, a companion in work, fellow worker. All right, so you know, joint. Let's go. Like, just like the Lord said, we suffer with him, we shall also be joint heirs with him. Well, we got to be joint workers, co-workers, fellow workers, fellow laborers, companions, companion in labor. That's why two are better than one, and a three cord is hardly broken, because right? we're supposed to work together. Here it is, one who labors with another in furthering the cause of Hamashiach. So we have to labor one with another and we have to support. It's a support system, the body, the brotherhood. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians now. Get another word. Verse 2 says, and I'm sorry, we already got fellow laborer. There was another word in, uh, but I'll read this and then go back to, uh, Philippians, this is uh, where we're first Thessalonians, Thessalonians 3 and 2, and sent 
Timotheus, our brother and minister of the Most High, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Hamashiach to establish you and to com comfort you concerning your faith. So again, fellow laborers are supposed to comfort one another. You know, help one another. Get them. It's, it's about the ultimate goal at the end of the day. Okay? Because if, you, if you're not doing your job, then means somebody has to pick up the slack and it affects the, the whole chain. So you got to pick up your slack. We're there to help each other, but if you're not doing nothing at all, what what are you there for? You know, you got to not only thinking about yourself, but thinking about all the other ones that are laboring with you. Okay, of course they can't save you, but it's a um, a body, a, a body, a brotherhood. Let's go back to Philippians four and three real quick. Let me get the word. Um, what was the other word? Yoke fellow. Yep, size goes. Suzugos. Strong's G forty eight oh five. Suzugos. Suzugos. Right says yoke together. Of those united by the bond of marriage relationship office office labor study business that we start off with. No, you're not. That I'm about my father's business. Well, if we're joint heirs, we're the children of the Most High too. Guess what? We need to be about our father's business. Or the like, it says of a yoke fellow, consort, comrade, colleague, partner. All right, and that's what um, these fellow the yoke men are for, man. Fellow yoke, you, we're all under the bondage of the mints or the uh, you know prisoners of, of hope. You know, so we're yoked together on the chain gang, so to say, uh, to to fasten, to join together, unite. The, the true unity is the, the true brotherhood, not, but got to be like minded men. Not everybody has their own opinion and doctrine. Okay? That's not what the scripture is talking about when it's talking about unity. But let's go to. <clears throat> go to the book of Sirach. Sirach 24 and verse 34. It says, Behold, that I have not labored for myself only. But for all of them that seek wisdom. So there you go, man. We're laboring for each other as well. That's why we're feeding each, each other. Feed If you love me, feed my sheep. Comfort one another with these words. You know, again, this is helping one another. Exhorting the next man. Okay. And rebuking as well. You know, that's part of the ministry. You know, uh, rebuke, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering. Because, yeah, you're searching out your own soul, uh, seeking to save your own soul, all right? Bring, you know, but, like the scriptures say, there's one that teaches the many, but is unprofitable to himself. Because you're not coming into this with the right mindset, all right? It's, this is just, it's bigger than you. And our, and our greatest example is Yahweh Shai. He, he sacrificed himself for us all. So let's go to Sirach 33 now. Pretty much the same thing, but. Said it differently. Consider Sirach 33 and 17. Consider, yeah, consider, consider that I labored not for myself only, but for all of them that seek learning. All right? There's people hungry out here. There's people seeking the truth. And those, that's why I read in Matthew chapter 9, pray that, uh, uh, well, let me go back to it. Because the, the harvest is great. All right? Says, so then saith he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Okay. That's why you got, hey, we need laborers, man. But how, they, they not going to hear it. They not going to know about the laborers unless we tell them. Or bid them to the marriage. Go into the highways and hedges and bid them to come in. More, more hands on deck, the better. You know, the Lord said, bring ye fruit, meat for repentance. Let's go to John chapter six, because again, this ultimately, this is this laboring it is laboring together. Guess what? We're going to be saved together. <laughs> you know, we're going to all get called up into the air to meet the Lord and uh, meet the Lord in the clouds. All right. And be with him forever. Um. John 6 and 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath the Most High, the Father, sealed. 
There you go, man. So labor, you got to labor for this with your fellow laborers, your yoke, your fellow yokemen. All right. Yoke fellows, fellow laborers. All right. The body, the brotherhood. You got to labor with them. All right. This isn't a one man thing again. You have to come up, you know, all things done decently in order. Okay, and get on the get on the program of the Most High and His Son. This isn't what you think or how you feel it should be. It's, it is what it is. This is Hebrews six, verse ten. We'll close out on this. Hebrews six, verse ten. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward His name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So, hey. The Lord is not unrighteous to forget this, this laboring that we're doing. All right. This laboring is not in vain. Verse 11. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. Yeah, we got to be uh, enduring to the end. Put the, the full, our best foot forward. All right. Because again, you're not laboring for yourself only. Like we read into the book of Sirach. So, you know, I just wanted to make, make a quick point of video straight to the point. Lord's will was edifying to the hopeful elect. That's, I say, Shalom.